Ascension Report 144, Jasara Timeline Anchoring, protect the children in this spiritual showdown. Dearest brothers and sisters, greetings of the Most High. We come forward now in this moment of your time with much news to share with you, rapidly ascending humanity. As we have stated numerous times in these Ascension reports, the light has already won. The fifth dimensional timeline has already anchored on the higher planes of consciousness. And what we are currently experiencing collectively is the holographic simulation movie designed to awaken the vast majority of sleeping masses to the atrocious ways of those whom the masses have given their power away to govern them. The swiftness of this 5D timeline anchoring within our physical reality is 100% dependent on the number of souls who are awakened or you could say red-pilled at this time. Therefore, star seeds, truthers, and digital warriors of the Most High, please carry on doing exactly what you are doing. Please carry on planting seeds of truth and awakening whenever you get the opportunity to. And please know that we are the news now. The mainstream media has failed humanity to such a spectacular degree very soon the whole entire world will bear witness to the vast extent of the atrocities the deep state masters and puppets have instilled upon beautiful sacred humanity. Never for one second doubt your potency or doubt how important your role is in this great awakening. For each soul who awakens out of the false limited third dimensional matrix programming has an aura that spreads extremely far and wide. The reason for this is, as soon as one frees oneself from the matrix and aligns with their soul's truth, this can be viewed as unplugging from a false artificial intelligence structure and re-plugging into one's God self. When you plug yourself back into your God self, all power that was hidden from you is restored. All manifestational power is yours and there is absolutely nothing that you cannot manifest if you put your heart, mind and soul to it. We would like to now take a moment to speak about the role of children in this great awakening. As we stated earlier, the fifth dimensional timeline has already anchored on the higher planes of consciousness. And what we are experiencing is the lower dimensional planes of consciousness currently playing catch up. One of the main areas this is being played out is within the current school system. The deep state's agenda of the current school system on the whole is attempting to desensitize children to all that is sacred, holy and true within their divine blueprint. One way this is being implemented is by the use of temperature guns, which are being aimed at the children's third eye pineal gland foreheads. This one act alone is abominable in mother, father, God's eyes. As children are like sponges and automatically believe every single thing adults say and perpetuate. And this is instilling a notion in these children on an unconscious level that there is something wrong with them. They are unsafe. They are unclean. They are not wholesome and healthy. And also that it is okay for someone to fire a laser beam into their pineal gland. In many ways, this one action could be viewed as programming them to receive the mark of the beast. As this antichrist agenda is instilling a notion in them that there is something inherently wrong with them, which is a lie of the highest order. This targeting of children's pineal gland is very much at the forefront of this spiritual war that is taking place currently on the lower dimensional planes of consciousness. As the pineal gland is the gateway to full God remembrance, 
and alignment with our multi-dimensional avatar self. Children in schools are also being encouraged to practice social distancing, which is indeed a CIA torture program. Isolation is used in prisons for prisoners who are being punished for their behaviours within the prison and is seen as the most intense form of punishment a prisoner could receive. Again, this notion of social distancing and isolation is part of the deep state's agenda to groom children to be completely switched off from their divine child codes through instilling the false notion of punishment which again taps into the illusory notion that there is something inherently wrong with them. And this is extremely damaging to the beautiful, sacred, divine child. As children are like sponges and automatically absorb and take on as truth every single thing adults say and perpetuate. The lower dimensional enforcement of face marks for children and adults is also a very powerful symbol. They symbolize silence, oppression, herd mentality, and the killing of one's individuality. It has been scientifically proven that the masks do nothing to protect anybody from a virus, a virus which the body has created in order to cleanse itself and expel toxins, a virus which is a sign that the body is indeed working and functioning perfectly. If one truly wanted and needed to protect oneself from ever catching a virus, they would have to wear a complete bodysuit, much like a space person would wear whilst visiting the moon. It is only this level of protection which will entirely stop you from picking up any virus. There are many people at the moment who are choosing to send their children into these battlegrounds whereby the battle is for your child's soul. These parents are falsely believing they have no choice. They are believing that their only choice is to stay in a low vibrational, unsatisfactory job in order to pay bills and put food on the table. And therefore their precious children must attend these corrupted institutions so that the parents can work. We would like to take this opportunity to remind you that you are God's son, you are God's daughter, and it is your duty to awaken from the program of the third dimensional matrix. As soon as you awaken, you will remember that God is great and God always provides a win-win solution in every situation. You will remember that your destiny is not fixed, that you have multiple choices to choose from, and you are obliged on a soul level to align with timelines that serve and benefit you and your family. You are invited to remember that your consciousness is the golden key to all of your heart's desires and that it is the third dimensional matrix which has indoctrinated you to falsely believe that you are a victim of your circumstance. If you hold this belief that you are genuinely a victim of your circumstances, this is the very definition of being spiritually asleep and stuck in the third dimensional matrix. And if that is so, may you be reminded that whatever it is that you believe is the exact timeline and reality that you will create. The purpose of this sacred transmission is to remind you that this program is part of the illusion, part of the 3D matrix that your soul has contracted to free itself from. Each one of us is extremely powerful. Each one of us can manifest anything our heart's desires. There is no one person that is a greater manifester than another person. We each have the tools to be able to co-create our perfect life for ourselves and our children. But you must know and believe this to make it so. We are rapidly moving into a time where these old third dimensional structures, such as corporations, schools, media, religion and politics are collapsing all around us. 
and it is our duty at this time to step into and fully embody our God-given sovereignty. You are not bound to a low vibrational job. You are choosing to stay in this job. Could this be because you are too lazy to visualize a more prosperous and healthy future for you and your family? There is nobody on this earth who will save you as we must each claim our own crown of sovereignty on an individual level and free ourselves from all seemingly obligatory contracts that are anchored in the lower dimensional realms. Please know it is our greatest honor to come forward and share these pearls of wisdom with so many of you in this sacred ascending community. And we would like to now take the opportunity to inform everybody of the next powerful transmission that will be taking place on the 77 portal, the 7th of July, 2020. In this transmission, we will be working with the fairy and unicorn portal that has opened up in the heart chakra of the world, Glastonbury. Many old nefarious energies have been trapped in Avalon for eons. And we, the Starseed Ground crew, are being asked by those in the higher realms to assist in the full activation of this fairy unicorn portal. We are also being strongly guided to work with the timeline of Jasara, the Global Economic Security and Reform Act. The Jasara timeline promises to restore the highest level of dignity to every single living being on the earth which includes the restoration and return of all stolen wealth by the deep state, the Vatican, the royal families and Chinese nobility families. We, the ground crew, are being asked by the higher dimensional realms to ground this Jasara timeline into the earthly grid to ensure the swift alignment and manifestation of the greatest gift that humanity has ever seen. This timeline also includes the releasing of the 6,000 off-world technology patents that have been kept hidden from humanity, including med beds that are also known as celestial healing chambers, replicators, interdimensional travel, looking glass technology, etc. I will share more details about the 77 transmission as they land. And please know I am extremely, deeply honoured to be the facilitator of these powerful and potent global ceremonies. Please know that as soon as you sign up to show up for this level of personal and collective work, your higher self will start preparing your energetic field for these potent seeds of transformation that will be activated in the transmission. As ever, there is so much to speak about and I, Jen, would like to take this opportunity to thank every single one of you for all of your love and support in sharing this writing and sharing this video and being part of the Ground Crew Light Tribe community. It is my deepest honor to serve all of my brothers and sisters and to make Mother Father God proud of me, her daughter, and I will keep serving for all of eternity. In love and light, Gen G and the White Wolf Tribe. <laughs>